It's an unwelcome change. For the first time in 2022, the number of new COVID cases in Florida is once again increasing. Yeah, this is coming after weeks of numbers going down. They started to creep back back up in the middle of last month. You can see the numbers here. Experts tell our Dave McDaniel the latest variant seems to be the driving force. Well, I, I think it's time for us to loosen up according to where we are today. The question is, is where will we be in two months? Local health leaders remain on watch. Statewide, there's low transmission of COVID, but in places like long-term care facilities, where people are most vulnerable, there are some increases in cases, even though much smaller than what we've been through. For the vaccinated and boosted, I think we can take our masks off pretty comfortably unless you have a bad immune system. We've gone from COVID-19 to Delta to Omicron to the BA2 variant of Omicron. The one circulating right now, the easiest to catch. The BA2 variant is much more communicable. It's much easier to transmit to somebody else than any of our other variants. So far, at least the newest variant seems less severe and the vaccinated have the least to worry about with the latest variants. And in addition to vaccine, we have treatment today. We have three great treatments for people that get COVID. So how much are we afraid if you're vaccinated and boosted? Not very much. Dr. Husty gets regular briefings in his role as EMS medical director. Europe, especially England, is spiking with the new variant, leading to this cautionary tale, even with low COVID numbers right now. Do not pretend like this is totally gone. It's not. We just don't know what trajectory it's going to be on next. In Seminole County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.